Good morning and happy Sunday, YouTube. I am back for another video. I'm really not consistent with these because I do it all myself and it takes so much time and it's like I'm so routined that I almost forget to film what I'm doing. So last night when I was doing my cardio, I thought I'm gonna make a YouTube video tomorrow because I have the day off and I can take my day a bit slower and not be so fast paced, which is what my life normally is. So today I don't have anything planned, which is so good. So I'm going to go to the gym this morning and then I'm probably gonna go see my family after but I thought that I would make a video just to show you what I'm going to do at the gym this morning and Show you what I usually get up to on a Sunday. So first things first, let me tell you all that what you see on Instagram is probably one-tenth of Everybody's life. So you see them looking good. You see them training at the gym you see, you know them being all happy when the reality of it is my house is actually a pigsty at the moment I have probably a week's worth of washing on the couch I have a sink full of dishes my bench is covered in crap and that's because I well for one I don't clean up after myself so that's the truth <laughs> and two when I do look at it and think, shit, I really need to clean that up. I'm in a rush to go to the gym because my training prioritizes over everything else. So because I don't have much planned today, I don't have any excuse. So I need to clean up my stuff. Look at all of this. And these stools are here because my dog Bronxy constantly tries to jump on the couch. So when I leave the house, I try to make like a big barricade so he doesn't jump up and he always seems to get up. Like I don't understand. So this morning I am going to do a glute workout. I've been having a bit of trouble activating my glutes lately. Um, I don't know if it's just an overload or because my back is quite sore. But I was watching Rachel Dillon's um, Instagram the other day and I have screenshotted a lot of the um, exercises that she was doing with her girls. So I'm going to replicate what she did in hope that I can activate my glutes and have a good booty workout. So I will film that and let you know how it goes. So this morning I have already had my apple cider vinegar mixed with lemon and I added some greens powder from ASN. I can't get that back in the fridge. Um, I've been doing that every single morning because it just helps with your digestion. Yes, it tastes not the best, but the greens powder definitely helped. Um, but there's just so many benefits to apple cider vinegar that I just am implementing it into my everyday routine and yeah, I'm just making all the good habits routine so I don't even think about it. One of the main ones being trying to get minimum four liters of water in per day because the benefits that you will see in your body and feel in your body from drinking a lot more water you will be amazed at what a difference it makes okay so an hour and a half later and i am leaving the house <laughs> ah i'm dawdling oh my god it's cold Alrighty, so i just got to the gym that lighting is so bad oh oh yeah that's better um so i just got to the gym and i'm just going through all my screenshots that I have taken of the workout that I'm going to be doing today by Rachel. Um, it is so important to always go into the gym with a game plan because if you go in there and you don't really know what you're doing, that's when you tend to like lag a little bit and sort of don't go as hard. Whereas if you go in and you've got a game plan, you know what you need to do, the workout tends to flow a little bit better and you've sort of got like a, 
um, plan in your head that you want to follow and you want to get done. So I just feel like having those exercises set that I'm going to do, I'm going to get it done quicker and faster and harder. So that's the game plan. Okay, so I'm just going to start with some glute activation exercises because anyone can just do a movement, but it takes more than that, more mind to muscle and knowing that you're activating that muscle for it to actually give you the results that you're working for. closed and that's because I'm really trying to focus on squeezing the muscle. When you really focus on squeezing the glutes, this machine will burn. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. Yo. Never was a fall, I'm just infatuated with guns. I finished my first set on here and I've gone um, super light just because I'm still aiming for the activation of my glutes. Um, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you would see that I have um, had a really sore back the last couple of days. When I started to do this movement, my back was hurting a little bit. So what I did was just leant forward slightly, like came over the top a little bit and it focused more so on my glute and took the pressure off my lower back. If I'm trying a new technique or a new movement, I always like to do the exercise unweighted. So with no weight first, just to make sure that I'm feeling it in the right place and my technique is right before I go and add the weight. later than what I was hoping for because I dawdle on a Sunday morning but I'm still motivated and getting it done that is the main thing so now I'm going to go inside have my breakfast do a little bit of a clean up and then probably head to my sister's to go and see the kids or and I have to take Bronxy for a walk because he's well overdue he's very large and in charge the poor dad I'm actually starving but anyways um this is my first meal which is 50 grams of rice flakes i normally add greens powder in there but i did all um i did add it into my apple cider vinegar this morning so instead i've put cinnamon in there and i put my elk glutamine in there just to get it in you can't taste it it's tasteless so i just add that in there and i also have my egg white omelette which is 200 mils of egg white spinach and mushroom i was too busy filming that i forgot to flip my omelette but it turned out perfect yes p.s oh this is my omelette but look at this bowl 
this was like six dollars i think or not even that maybe like three dollars from kmart and i feel like when you're in prep if you're not eating out of con out of a container you need this bowl okay i would just like a round of applause thank you We just decided to come for a quick um, walk down Burley and just grab a coffee and sit on the hill while well, it's blinding me. What are we going to do now? Eat. And now Zane wants to eat because that's all he wants to do ever. Hey, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bottles in a bucket full of ice. Yeah. Better make room, room. Oh, celebrate. Ha! Young Nino, fuck a bitch in the Pico. Carlito, Scarface, Al Pacino, Bambido, MC, I Pido. I goes deep in that pussy. Never rain. Soup, super make nasty. Why you make love when the bitch call me daddy? Yeah, the game turned me into this guy. Yeah, and now every time Drake out. Cameras always flashing, trying to put me on the takeout. Cribbing Calabasas, man, I call this shit the safe house. 30 minutes from LA, the shit is way out. Woo! With these day, that's where I'm staying. You can hear it in my voice, I'm going way in. Alrighty, so I am just almost at my sister's house and I will probably stay there for an hour or so and then head back home, try and squeeze in a walk for Bronxy, the poor little darling, he needs one so bad. And then I've got to go back to the gym to do more cardio, so 45 minutes and I'll probably just do it on incline. I'm not that much of a hater of cardio, like I know that people absolutely hate it. I actually don't mind it. I don't know. It just sort of, like, when I'm tired, I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered. But I don't hate it. It's okay. And it does work. It gives me the results. So it's so important to be consistent with not only your training but your cardio as well because if you want the maximum results, you need to do exactly as your coach tells you. So, And I only have 12 weeks now until show day. So I'm super excited. It'll be a year since I competed. So obviously I had pretty much six months of recovering from my operation. Those of you that don't know, when I competed last year in the October show, my implant ruptured on stage. So I then three weeks after comp had to go in for surgery, a full reconstructive surgery. Um, it cost me $16,000, <laughs> which was a real downer for me because obviously all I wanted to do was improve myself and I did really want to aim for the May or um, July show, but I couldn't push myself that far because of my operation. So I've had pretty much like five months of recovery and now I've had like another six or seven months of actually really trying to build and work on my physique to the best that I can. But it's down to like the last three months now where you start to see those changes and that's what keeps you more motivated and that's what keeps you wanting to push harder because it's just getting closer and closer every day and you just want to look the best that you can so I'm getting excited now so I just got home from seeing my sister and the kids now I need to see my kid 
You can hear him. Ready, watch this. He goes nuts. Ready? and I am just about to head back to the gym for the second time today to do the rest of my cardio. So 45 minutes, I'm going to do it on the treadmill um, on incline and I'll be doing intervals. So going um, faster and slower, staying on a really um, high incline the whole time. It really gets your heart rate up and makes you work up a massive sweat. I'm leaving the house and surely, surely you will not get up on the couch with these barricades. And if you do, <laughs> there'll be trouble, Mr. Bronxy. He does not care. He's actually a badass. So what I'm going to be doing weekly is a video check-in, just so not only for you guys to see my progress, but for me to look back because it's so hard when you are in prep because you see yourself every single day. It's sort of like, am I changing? Am I, am I, am, is anything happening? But when you look at the videos and you look at the photos and when you put your clothes on as well, that's when you start to notice the difference. So it is really good to look back and I found myself looking back so much throughout my last prep and being like, whoa, I have changed so much. So I'm, go I'm about to do um, a video check-in now and I'll walk Girl, I wanna be a level. We can do this all night. But first, let me get a little drink in me. Snap away with a little henny. Under the hood, got a big hemi. Pipes Oh, yeah, babe. You gon' feel it when you ride with me. We all on each other. From the minute you walk in the club. I said it before and I'll say it again. I will try and be more consistent with these YouTube videos because I know that you're loving them. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback from doing the video. Pretty much what I get up to on a Sunday, like I don't really do much. I just kind of like get ready for my for the next week and go see my family and train. And it's sort of just like a day to not work. I still am in routine, but I just don't have to, to work. I can just get um, organized for the next week. So I am 12 weeks out, as you would have seen with my posing check-in. I will be doing that weekly as the weeks come closer to comp. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm just, I'm working so, so hard. And I just, this is something that I want really, really bad. It's my lifestyle and it's, it would just, oh, I'm just like envisioning. When I train, I like envision myself winning my pro card and I'm like, yes, <laughs> it gets me so excited. But that's not the main thing. The main thing is bettering myself from last time and knowing that I'm putting in all the hard work to get there and get back up on the stage and do even better than what I did last time. So I love your support. Thank you so, so much for all of your support, your comments, um, your messages, everything just gets me through every single day. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment and subscribe because I will try and get more to you as I get closer and closer to comp. I really want to film like my peak week and like my bikini fittings, my dress fittings and um, all my check-ins with Sammy and especially show day. I'm going to try and do, well I will do um, a vlog on show day just to show you all the inside and backstage and everything like that. So if you would like to see that, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram because there's also a shitload going on there 
on my thank you bye i know it i think i'm about to fall in love right now you should get ready cuz i'm in the mood i'm trying to do something to you but baby hold up yeah champagne on the way this is time and the place baby girl i want to